Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a couple of thoughts on my Retin-A use in the summertime. So this is actually a highly requested video by many of you. And I haven't done a Retin-A in a while and um, I'm going to hopefully keep this really brief because, you know, I haven't had any changes. You know, I haven't really switched up my routine much at all. Although I will tell you that you have to use common sense in the summertime. If you're going to be out and about and you're not going to use, say, sunblock or really protect yourself from the damaging sun rays, you can undo everything you've done by using Retin-A. So if you're curious as to what four years of Retin-A has been like for me and what I do in the summertime to kind of still stay on my Retin-A regimen, Stay tuned. I still use my Retin-A. I use 1%, Retin-A 1%. I alternate. I do have a tube of 5 of 0.05% um, and a tube of the 0.1%. I also have the weakest, which is the 0.025% that I use typically I go down my neck with that into my decolletage along with rosehip seed oil that stayed the same but on my face I use 1% Retin-A typically probably I would say at least perhaps four maybe five times a week and even though it's summertime I still stick to that regimen so what I do and everyone asks is after I wash my face at night, if I need to do any kind of exfoliation, it's usually in the morning. I tend to not really do it at night, but I'll do a double or a triple wash. I've been using an oil-based cleanser uh, from Open Formula. I talked about that before, but it doesn't really matter what you use to wash your face. It's going to be up to you, and I'm all about affordability on products, so I try to wash my face with something I feel is really good, gets my skin clean, and, you know, obviously is affordable. So after I've done that, sometimes I have to tone, you know, all depends on how my skin feels, but then usually I will stick, I will put my Retin-A on. I am very generous with my Retin-A. I, um, this is a tube of the 0 0.5. I have a tube of the the, the uh, lesser amount and I have the 1% of the bathroom, but I'm very generous with it. I put it all over my forehead. I put another, probably a pea size on my forehead and I spread it around and then I go down. Maybe I have another pea size on each side of the face and I, I go through my face. I avoid the crevices. I don't go into the little crevice on my nose or onto my lips. There have been times that I've gone too close and I paid the penalty for it. So I try to really avoid that. And I cover my lip. Now, that said, there are some days that I will use my Retin-A after I put on a oil. And some days I use the oil after my Retin-A. Lately, probably more consistently the last few months, I have been putting on my oil, my face oil, and my face oil has been CBD oil. I've been using, I've used a couple of different brands of CBD oil. I bought one recently when we were on vacation. I've been trying that. But my go-to CBD oil is the Maku. I really like it. When they have their sales, it's super affordable. It's just a really good, good oil. And for me, it really works. You can use any kind of oil or no oil. It all depends on your skin, but that's what I have been doing. And my Retin-A, I still buy my Retin-A from Reliable RX. I have it linked below. I am an affiliate member with them now. So if you use my link, I make some pennies. Um, thank you for doing that. Um, anyways, Reliable RX is a company based out of India. And the Retin-A that I use is actually manufactured by Johnson & Johnson. That, or that's the name, brand, Johnson & Johnson. Uh, but I buy it from India. And what I normally do is I will buy some for my sister, some for my girlfriends. I'll buy a larger order of it because the shipping tends to be a bit more expensive. 
and it tends to take a while to arrive. So I place an order, a larger order, and we kind of, you know, joint venture between a few friends and we split the cost of shipping. But the price of my Retin-A is so, even if I didn't have friends to buy it with, it wouldn't matter. It is so incredibly reasonable to do it that way. I pay by e-check. That's my comfort zone. I've mentioned before that I have a separate checking account that I just use for e-funds. And, um, and that's what I do. I really, really think that part of my success with Retin-A is that I can afford it. I would not be able to afford it if I had to go into the pharmacies here because when I first got my first subscription prescription for it, I was pricing it out and it was like $289, $325. Uh, one time there was a special for $89 for a little tiny tube. But when I can get a tube like this for under $10, it's a no-brainer to me. It's a no-brainer. So for those of you that keep asking the question about this, even with COVID-19, I'm okay, personally, the decision I made, I'm okay to place that order. I feel totally comfortable placing that order. That doesn't mean that you're going to feel comfortable and that, that's okay. It has to be a decision that you, that you all make, you know. Um, for, but for me, it was affordable. So I still use, yes, Reliable RX, even in COVID-19. The shipping might be a little bit slower, but I've had exceptional service from them. I have never had a product that was questionable. I've never had an excessive delay in my shipping. They've never overcharged me. They've never undercharged me. They've been actually really nice to work with. I really, really have enjoyed buying and getting my Retin-A products from them. Now, there's a few other products that I've bought off of them. Hydroquinone, I, I have that. If you look at their website, there's many different other products and there's some prescriptions that, you know, that are very expensive here that some people buy. But anyways, that's where I get my Tretinoin and that's where I get my Retin-A and I am using it roughly four to five times a week, even though it's in the summertime. Now, I recently bought myself some straw hats. When I buy hats, I have a, I have like a few hats I really like, but the straw hats I bought recently are really super because Jay and I are going to go to we're going to be going to Bar Harbor and I have a uh, you know one of those outdoor recliner chairs when you're outside by your campsite and I want to read, I want to do things, I want to put my head back. And so I wanted to get a straw hat that didn't have a brim all the way around and I wanted it to have an SPF factor. So I got these two straw hats. They're absolutely adorable and there are 50 SPF so I protect oh I protect my skin in the sun and I use some really good sunblock I mean a lot of sunblock I do um, I've tried I've been fortunate enough to have um, dermatology that was sent to me a little bit ago I kind of showed that right before we went to uh, Booth Bay Harbor I really like that that plays really nice with my makeup I use the Australian Gold by Tynical, the 50 SPF that's tinted. Sometimes I have to make sure that really dries, but overall that plays really nice with any kind of foundation. And I've also been falling in love with the Boots Number no. 7. Uh, they have a high SPF foundation that I've been using. And for the summer, you can't beat it. So skin sun protection when you're using Retin-A is so important. It is, it is the most important thing. And then I exfoliate, but I exfoliate very gently. I look at my skin in a 50, uh, not 50, I think sunblock, but like the, um, the 20 times magnified or 10 times, whatever it is, uh, magnified. It is, it's, it's horrific. It, it's scary to look at your skin like that. But that's really how I've been monitoring my skin. And I know that the texture of my skin is better have I reversed? No, I haven't reversed the aging process and I don't plan, I don't think that'll ever happen. But my texture of my skin is better. The overall look of my skin is better and healthier. My wrinkles seem to be better than they were, but they're still there. You know, they're definitely still there. And the only thing I can contribute that to is the three things that I have used to specifically this year, um, well, one that I added this year, but there are three products that I have, cons actually four products that I have consistently used 
and that I think has really contributed to it. Since 2016, I have been taking a collagen supplement, a powdered collagen supplement. I take two tablespoons every morning in my coffee. I take two tablespoons at night. Collagen, I drink it down. It works from the inside out. It has made a huge difference in, and I have very dry skin, huge difference in the dryness of my skin. That, my retin-A, my tretinoin, absolutely hands down. And then I think it's been at least the last eight months or so, my CBD oil. Those are my three tried and true, and none of that, none of that would make a hill of difference if I didn't use sunblock. So number four for me is a sunblock, a good, high quality, it doesn't have to be expensive, but when I say high quality, you want, you want both the UV, you know, you want the total protection. You want the total package to make sure, and you want to reapply it. So that's, that's what I'm doing, guys. It's, it is. There's no difference um, in my routine. Yes, I do. You know, I use the Olay on my eyes. I mean, there's different things that I that I use, the rosehip seed oil, but the core basic elements, collagen, retin-A, CBD oil, and my sunblock. Those are the four things that I have to have every day in my life. Every day in my life. So... I hope that answers some of the questions that many of you seem to have about Retin-A, about using it in the summertime. You just have to be super smart. And also, those of you that have questions about buying it, you know, when someone says to me, I can't afford Retin-A, well, you know, even when you pay shipping, you're still paying a tenth of what, at least I was paying a tenth of what I'd be paying up here in New Hampshire without, with health insurance that doesn't cover it. You know what I mean? So it's like... Um, it can be very affordable. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm sure this is super long and I don't want it to be that way, but I did want to share that with you. And thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave leave them for me. I'll definitely answer them. And, you know, I will, when I get a number of the same questions over and over again, you know, especially I sometimes get them on my Instagram channel, I'll do a video talking about it. So that's my Retin-A sort of a mini update four years in August started in 2016 prior to that nothing much but that's my update thank you so much for joining me on the journey and um, keep smiling guys thank you all so much